we've talked about the, the busy commuters, mm. of which there are thousands, and obviously they rely on the daily service, but we want to see our trains being used at other times as well. On the, um, now, I come up on the trains at different times of the day, sometimes on off-peak, sometimes during the peak. And are we, are we seeing more passengers travelling uh, uh, off-peak? It certainly seems to be the impression from me. Yeah, I mean, encouragingly, we are seeing good growth, uh, uh, particularly in the off-peak. And um, part of the reason for that is that uh, we are starting to get the message across about the number of good deals that there are available to people. Uh, for travelling in the off-peak period when the trains are obviously less, less crowded. Um, we're also building more awareness of the attractions that Kent offers and really uh, building up to the 2009 timetable change. And we see that as a, a really important thing to do. We want Kent to be an attractive destination as well as a place where people travel from into London and uh, take the opportunities there. So, uh, some encouraging signs, but we've got a lot of work to do to actually grow the market. And are you doing that in partnership with various tourist boards in the South? We're, we're working very closely with the Kent Tourism Alliance. And, uh, and uh, promoting, the, you know, we're mutually promoting each other right. in terms of getting the message out about our services. More people coming out of London travelling on trains, obviously that's good for the business. If they're travelling to tourist destinations in Kent, that's good for uh, jobs and business in the county as well. Absolutely, and we're working very closely with the, uh, with the various agencies who promote business in Kent, locating Kent and others. Uh, I mean, members of my team are involved in very many initiatives with those uh, agencies who promote business in Kent because we, we know that transport is absolutely key. Uh, to, uh, to business success.